Nowadays, science fiction movies have skyrocketed in popularity, captivating audiences around the world. They're like a warp speed getaway from reality, hurling us into made-up worlds to tackle mind-blowing questions about what it means to be human, discover new frontiers of technology and the possibilities of the future. Sometimes these films also have beings that are not human, mostly aliens, that leave you hanging for more. One of the films that fall into this category is District 9, 2009, directed by Neil Blomkamp. The film introduces us to prawns, and these are not the prawns you're thinking about. Prawns are a conscious species of space travelers with highly developed technology and starship engineering. Today we're going to dissect these pesky creatures and get to know about them more. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. We bet you're wondering what prawns are and what do they even look like. Prawns are these extraterrestrial beings, unlike any aliens we've seen before, breaking away from the traditional humanoid or monster-like portrayals. In the film, the prawns are an extraterrestrial species that arrive on Earth in a massive spaceship seeking refuge. These alien beings, nicknamed prawns due to their insectoid appearance, are a central focus of the movie and play a pivotal role in the narrative. The prawns are portrayed as a physically distinct and technologically advanced species. In the context of the movie, the prawns find themselves trapped in a deteriorating slum known as District 9. The government and a private military corporation are responsible for managing the prawn population and ensuring their separation from human society. The role of prawns in the film goes beyond their physical presence. They serve as a metaphor for societal issues such as segregation, discrimination, and xenophobia. The mistreatment and marginalization of the prawns within District 9 echo the dark history of human prejudice and oppression. Do they their experiences, the film explores the consequences of such discrimination and the potential for empathy and understanding. The protagonist, Vikas Vandermeer, who initially views the prawns with disdain, undergoes a transformative journey when he becomes exposed to an alien substance. As Vikas grapples with his own physical and mental changes, he forms an unlikely alliance with a prawn named Christopher Johnson. Together, they navigate the dangerous landscape of District 9, seeking a solution to reverse the mutation and escape the clutches of those who view them as nothing more than objects of experimentation and exploitation. The prawns' role in the movie is both symbolic and instrumental in driving the narrative forward. They represent the other and the consequences of prejudice, while also embodying the potential for empathy and solidarity across species. Their plight serves as a vehicle for exploring themes of humanity, identity, and the blurred lines between oppressor and oppressed. Prawns are a fascinating and integral element of the story. It doesn't hurt that they are presented in vivid detail. According to director Neil Blomkamp, prawns have a high mind and rely on drones for technological advancements. They have a home planet somewhere in the Andromeda galaxy but live on ships for extended periods to gather resources. Their ships can join together to transport materials. For all we know, they're really committing to the entire bit of hunting and gathering. Now, how do these prawns end up on our planet, you ask? Well, a virus wipes out the ship's leaders, forcing it to autopilot to a habitable planet, which turns out to be Earth. Neil also feels like Christopher Johnson, one of the intelligent prawns, may play a key role in their future as a potential leader. He believes that the hive mind could influence his development and guide their return to the ship. In addition to mentioning that the prawns' home planet has seven moons, Christopher tells his kid that it is considerably larger than Earth. Given that the prawns can breathe the oxygen in the atmosphere of Earth, it is highly plausible that their home world is comparable to Earth in terms of climate. The prawns' choice to arrive on Earth rather than any other neighboring planets to end their voyage can also be explained by this. Exploring the remarkable physiology of the prawns. With their slender and elongated bodies complete with chitinous exoskeletons, they exude an aura of otherworldly beauty. Their features include multifaceted eyes, sharp mandibles, and intricate patterns across their carapaces, making them visually striking and instantly recognizable. Their insectoid features and biomechanical exoskeletons exude a sense of intrigue. Their complex physical structure complete with appendages and multi-jointed limbs adds to their alien charm. In terms of respiration, the prawns possess specialized structures that allow them to extract oxygen from their surroundings. Tiny openings resembling spiracles found in insects, dot their exoskeleton, leading to a network of internal respiratory passages. This unique adaptation enables the prawns to respire efficiently even in environments with varying atmospheric compositions. The film takes great care to showcase the prawns' distinctive mannerisms and behaviors, providing a deeper understanding of their culture and struggles. What sets the prawns apart is their attention 
attention to detail, from the way their limbs articulate to their fluid movements, the prawns feel remarkably lifelike and convincing, despite their extraterrestrial nature. The filmmakers meticulously crafted their physiology, ensuring every aspect of their anatomy felt plausible and authentic. What does the diet of the prawns comprise of? The prawns from District 9 have a unique diet that reflects that their food preferences may seem unconventional to us, but they have adapted to their environment in District 9. The prawns have been observed consuming cat food, which appears to be a readily available food source in their habitat. While the reasons behind their attraction to cat food remain unknown, it could be due to its nutritional composition or taste. This peculiar choice showcases the adaptability of the prawns and their ability to make the most of available resources. In addition to cat food, the prawns have also also shown an interest in discarded human fast food. They seem to be drawn on the flavors and textures of these items, perhaps finding them palatable or appealing in some way. It's intriguing to witness how these strange beings have developed a taste for our earthly culinary creations. Without the use of traditional utensils, the prawns rely on their agile and versatile limbs to handle their meals. Their appendages serve as makeshift utensils, enabling them to manipulate and consume their food. Their sharp mandibles also come into play, allowing them to take bites and tear apart their meals with position. How do the prawns in District 9 reproduce? Prawns may self-fertilize because they reproduce asexually or with both male and female reproductive organs in each individual. Despite MNU's efforts to reduce the number of offspring generated by aborting eggs and licensing young, this poses a little danger to their reproductive powers and has allowed their population to grow swiftly. Following egg laying, a feeding source such as a dead animal will be attached to the egg through tubes, allowing the growing prawn to be fed. Parents can be very protective of their eggs, Thus, MNU officials try to abort the child without the parent present to avoid a potentially dangerous conflict. It is important to note that the existence of interspecies prostitution in District 9 suggests that prawns are sexually active, as are the majority of hermaphroditic species on Earth, such as snails, and they may have reproductive organs that resemble those of humans. What is the fate of prawns in the movie? Set in Johannesburg, South Africa, the story follows the prawns who have sought refuge in Earth. These aliens are confined to a decrepit slum known as District 9, which mirrors the apartheid-era townships of South Africa. Their destiny takes a thrilling turn when a peculiar and unexpected chain of events unfolds. Enter our unlikely hero, Vickis Vandermeer, an employee of the corporation tasked with relocating the prawns to a new settlement called District 10. During the relocation process, Vickis stumbles upon a mysterious substance that triggers a transformative metamorphosis within him. His body begins to undergo a transformation, becoming part human and part prawn. As Vicus grapples with his newfound identity, he becomes a target for both the corporation and the government. He finds himself caught in a race against time, desperate to find a way to reverse the mutation before it consumes him entirely. With the help of a sympathetic prawn named Christopher Johnson, Vicus embarks on a hard-pounding journey that will determine the fate of not only himself, but also the entire prawn population. Together, Vicus and Christopher uncover a secret plan orchestrated by the corporation to exploit the prawns' advanced technology. This revelation set the stage for an epic showdown with Vickers and Christopher leading a rebellion against their oppressors. It's a battle that combines explosive action, jaw-dropping visuals, and a touch of comedic charm. As the story races towards its climax, the prawns' fate hangs in the balance. Will they escape the clutches of the corporation and find freedom? Can Vickers find a way to reverse his mutation and regain his humanity? These questions propel the narrative forward, keeping you glued to the screen, eagerly awaiting the resolution. Without giving away all the thrills and surprises, let's just say that the fate of the prawns is anything but predictable. Their journey encompasses themes of resilience, unity, and the power of fighting against injustice. It's a roller coaster of emotions with moments of heartbreak, triumph, and unexpected alliances. In the end, the prawns prove that they are more than just strange-looking creatures from another world. They represent the capacity for empathy, the resilience of the oppressed, and the indomitable spirit of those who fight for their freedom. Their fate serves as a testament to the enduring power of hope and the strengths found in unity. From their multifaceted eyes to perceive the universe with unmatched clarity to their versatile limbs to dance with dexterity, the prawns exude a charm that is both mesmerizing and endearing. Their resilience and their ability to adapt and thrive even the most challenging circumstances make them captivating. These quirky creatures find unexpected joy in cat food, savor the thrill of discarded fast food, and demonstrate resourcefulness, makeshift utensils. Their love for the unusual and their knack for finding beauty 
in the ordinary makes them oddly relatable, yet beneath their quirky exterior lies a profound metaphor for the complexities of humanity. In their journey, they teach us that appearances can be deceiving and that compassion can bridge even the widest gaps. The movie presents a thought-provoking and gritty narrative that delves into multiple themes. The prawns of District 9 are a testament to the boundless imagination and creative ingenuity of filmmakers. They invite us to embrace the unknown, to embrace the weird and the wonderful. They remind us that the universe is vast, teeming with endless possibilities and extraordinary beings. So as we bid farewell to the world of the prawns, let us carry their spirit with us. Let us celebrate the quirks that made us unique, the resilience that helps us navigate life's challenges, and the empathy that unites us as a species. The universe full of marvels let the prawns inspire us to embrace our own eccentricities and find beauty in the extraordinary tapestry of existence. So grab some popcorn, fasten your seatbelt, and prepare to be swept away by the exhilarating fate of the prawns in District 9. It's a wild and unforgettable journey that will leave you cheering, laughing, and reflecting on the triumph of the underdogs. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.